Alright, this is Sparkman. Welcome back to the Colobot Chronicles. We're ready to start our second mission here on the moon. Alright, and this time starts a little differently. We have our flying robot selected first, and you see a bunch of little funny target things. It says to hit F1. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Alright, so it says this apparatus was set up by the previous expedition to test and train the flying capacity of winged bots. Use these drills to your advantage, your ability to survive future critical situations may depend on the dexterity they will have helped you develop. Uh, yeah, whatever, dude. Alright, fly as quickly as possible through each target to accomplish this, or try to accomplish this without causing the engine to overheat, which I mentioned the, the heat deal on the engines previously. It's just, just the little bar next to your health. Uh, if this appears too difficult, just touch down let the engine cool off. Yeah, so when you're not flying, the engine cools off. When you're flying, the engine heats up. Uh, if the engine does overheat, it's no big deal. You just drop down to the ground. All right. Um, you should use your arrow keys on the keyboard to pilot the bot. We keep one hand on the mouse. Uh, the mouse is useless in this exercise, but will be essential in later missions. Uh, they're just basically talking about uh, using winged bots to shoot at things. All right. Uh, let's see. So it may be useful to come back to these drills once in a while if you wish to improve your reflexes further. No, not really. Okay. Let's go ahead and start. Um, now, we could go through this manually. We can, you know, take our bot and fly through the, the little targets, but we've got a program to do that. So if we've got a program to do that, there's really no reason to go through it. All right. So this is... Uh, also a valid, um, valid program for the next mission. Um, next, that's kind of interesting, it's already loaded. Anyways, um, the next mission is exactly identical except it switches you to a first person view and then it tells you later on how you can switch between first and third person. I, I don't recall how, how to do it at the moment, but uh, we'll just uh, sit back and watch the show, I guess. Because that's all there is to do on this mission, uh, is just to fly through the hoops. I think that uh, lunar rover is still out there. We can go find it. Uh, if we select the astronauts, we can actually kind of multitask. You can see our bots going through. As it goes through each of the targets, the targets vanish, which, uh, which is what enables me to do the program, because it, uh, automatically the closest target will be the next one. So yeah, our little lunar rover is still there. This mission actually completes as soon as the uh, flying bot flies back over to the spaceship. Dink. Right, so we can actually select our little lunar robot now that we found it. Again, just for fun. Doesn't do anything. Potentially you could use it to explore, but there really isn't much to explore here. I'm not even I'm not even going to show the next mission because it's exactly identical, uh, with the exception of the fact that it switches you to a first-person view. So you're supposed to practice flying in a per first-person view. It's uh, pretty pointless. So I'm just going to skip over that mission and we'll start with the fourth mission, the last mission on the moon, and that'll be when we leave the Earth. All right, and uh, see you then. Bye.